Money Matters is brought to you by OfferPad. Visit OfferPad.com to request your free purchase offer today. OfferPad, move freely. At 537, let's talk financial news. One big bank is in hot water with a jewelry maker known for creating charm bangles and bracelets over alleged gender bias. Uh, Maribel Labor joins us with Money Matters this morning. So who are we talking about here, Maribel? Hey, good morning, Gravier and Tracy. Well, jewelry maker Alex and Ani has dropped a $1.2 billion lawsuit against Bank of America. In the lawsuit, Alex and Ani accused the bank of trying to push women out of leadership roles at the company. The jewelry company also alleged the bank wrongly placed it in default of a $170 million loan and also froze a $50 million revolving line of credit. The two companies reached a confidential agreement where no payments were made. Plant-based foods are on the rise, but are these meat substitutes actually actually good for you. Whole Foods co-founder and CEO John Mackey says although they may be better for the environment, they aren't necessarily good for us. Mackey said, I don't think eating highly processed foods is healthy. I think people thrive on eating whole foods. Whole Foods first started carrying Beyond Meat products in 2013. According to Euromonitor, the market for meat substitutes is expected to hit $2.5 billion by 2023. Tracy Gavir, I keep reading about like watching your sodium intake if you're going to take the substitute. Oh, absolutely. And trying to filter out those processed foods, that's hard because almost everything is processed these days. Yeah. Uh, and, and Maribel, you know, we love to shop. I know you love to shop, too. Um, and a lot of people aren't really going to stores as much. Of course, many of us are buying online, but there's at least two big retailers who are still doing well, despite uh, people making those online purchases. Tracy, we go there with a shopping cart. Target and Walmart are taking the lead in sales and profits against other department stores. So sales at Target increased 3.4% during the summer quarter, and its profits are up. Target stock was up 18% yesterday. You know, clothing sales for the retail giant are also up 5%, while Target and Walmart are flourishing. Other major department stores like Macy's, JCPenney, and Kohl's are falling behind. Uh, Tracy Gavir, I mean, I can't leave Target without spending more than 100 bucks. So... <laughs> You know, I may not go to Macy's, hey, but can you know, I go I'm to Target with you there. and you can buy no me a couple kidding. things. You know what, Target <laughs> has really stepped up its game when it comes to all of the home improvements. Oh, yes. You know, you can mm -hmm. find everything in there. Yeah. The clothing lines are good, too. I get stuck in that little dollar section or $2.50 section, you know, because there's so <laughs> yes. many little things that you can make little goodie yes. baskets, right, right, right. little Easter baskets, whatever. And it's always up front. Exactly. Okay. Thanks, Maribel. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. You can catch Maribel and her Money Matters report Monday through Friday right here on CBS 46.